Yeah, that was a tough game. Um, but I thought both teams fought hard, both teams executed, uh, both teams defended. Uh, I, I had a lot of respect for BU coming into the game and, and Joe Jones, but they're even better live um, than I thought they were you know, going into the game. I think they're a really good team. I think they'll finish at the top of their league uh, and certainly gave us all we could handle on our home floor uh, in front of a decent crowd, which I was happy about. This is a tough time. There's not many people around. It's the holidays, so I wasn't sure what the attendance would be, but it was nice to have some people show up. And I think we gave them a pretty entertaining game. Um, game plan for the second half was to get this guy a little more involved, and, and obviously that worked. Um, nobody on our team cares who scores, and I certainly don't. Um, but we have to know our advantages and get the ball to the people um, that we can play off of. And that's different every game. Uh, this game in the first half, I don't think him and Max uh, had enough touches. And so that was the game plan in the second half. If they double team, he's not going to force it. He's going to kick it out, and we'll just get open shots uh, on that. If they don't double team, you can see uh, he's really hard to guard. And he's very efficient, and that was the game plan. Uh, get the ball in. Keep the defense the same, which I thought was pretty good and consistent all night. Uh, this guy, Yuri, is, is a big uh, factor for that. Uh, he is an elite on-ball defender and one of the most talented defensive players I've ever coached. Um, so he really helps us lock down guys on the perimeter. He's done that consistently every game. Um, so these two guys were a big reason we won. A lot, lot of good efforts, but uh, they had a big impact. Kareem, Question. how physical was this game in the paint? It was very physical because that, uh, the big man was strong. Uh, you know, like, uh, I just did a better job, you know? And I'm thankful for my teammates who trust me. I, I give all the credit to my teammates. And you came up with three steals. Well, actually, two steals right off the bat in the first half. You really got the thing going. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's all about defense. Like, we were working every day, like, practice hard and stuff. Like, our work pays off. That's it. Coach, was the idea to take advantage of the size you possess and just pound the ball into the paint and see what happened? They got to touch the ball. You know, like I said, um, and it doesn't have to be every time down. And there are other games when we have advantages in other positions. And there are games when this guy has made five threes. There are games when Alan Blunt or Quentin Mincy have had an advantage in the post and will play out that way. Um, but for his size at our level, both him and Max, uh, especially early on, we got to get them touches. If, if no other reason to get them comfortable and in the flow of the game. Uh, we didn't do it in the first half. We certainly did in the second and made a big difference. Being 12-2, and two, Yuri, going into the break, now our conference play begins. Now, now the fun time starts. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, it's been a good season so far. I think we've been playing well. <clears throat> I think over the break, this is a good time to relax, let our body feel a little better. We're a little beaten up right now. Get back and get back to work and just put another run together. Which is now really what it's all about. What do you think of this league? I mean, what you know of it, what you've seen of it, what do you think of this league? It's gotten better every year. Uh, we've been a part of it. Uh, I think we've gotten better every year, but so has the league. Um, the, the difference for me sitting in my chair is I, I just have more pieces. Like We have more depth. Um, so if one or two guys aren't healthy or injured, one or two guys are having a bad night, we collectively have enough guys to still uh, win some basketball games. And the other piece is the defensive rebounding. Uh, in the past, we've been an offensive-oriented team, and when we shot the ball well, we were good, like we could score 85 points a game and we could beat anybody. But when we didn't shoot the ball, we couldn't win. And this team has proven uh, time and time again that they have enough depth, but they also uh, play well enough defense to overcome a night when they don't shoot the ball well. That, that's why they're 12 and two. And that's what's become the consistency of this. It appears that every time you guys score at least 40 points in the paint, you're winning. It, it just appears that the teams that you're playing to this point, and maybe you want to catch the conference play, but it ends up being the same way. The size that you possess with, with Kareem and with Max is just, it appears too much for these teams to handle. Yeah, uh, but I think we've won a lot of different ways, which is uh, another reason we've been successful. I mean, they're a big piece of it, but we've won with great uh, perimeter shooting. We've hit timely threes at UMass, like time yes. and time again. Um, we've had 
better perimeter defense than we've ever had. So if you look at our perimeter defensive numbers, they're way better than we ever have. And we're rebounding well. Um, so we, we've won, won a, lot, a lot of games a lot of different ways. And I think that's, that's the key to being really, really successful because you're going to have a different matchup every night and you're going to have a different advantage. And if you can find it and utilize it, then you can start to win some games. That's what these guys have done. Is there anything, guys, about the 12-2 and record that surprises you? No. Not at all. Like, uh, we're 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 enjoying it. Like, he's practicing. That's is all about, like I said, hard work. We enjoy each other all the time. The coaches, the friendship between us. We just enjoy to be here in uh, Castle. That's it. How much different is this culture from the one you left at St. Bonaventure? Way different. I love in what way? Huh? In what way? The love they show me. They treat me like my own child. So they tell me the truth. When I'm wrong, they tell me straight up. They don't fake any lies. Like this, this punish you like something you do you do it before you do, don't even know what you did wrong. They just cut your tongue, play and tell or you do one mistake. They're gonna sub you up. But here they let me play through my mistake. They make me like feel like blessing, like you know. They make me <coughs> they make me like uh um, Start loving basketball like the way I used to before. I'm very thankful. Like I'm gonna do anything, what I can do for you to have. Your is it the same for you? Um, you don't have to look over your shoulder when you necessarily make a mistake or something goes wrong. That you can just focus on being able to play and focus on the next play and not have to worry about things. Yeah, I think it's a lot easier to uh, play without just being paranoid the whole time. Because when you play like that, it's not really winning basketball not really playing as your true self. So I think coming here, um, I just really like the way Duke goes about things, the way he handles situations, the way he talks to us and teaches us and uh, kind of can get his point across without yelling. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.